as a veteran, you felt that there was a smear from Joe Biden dropping an ad from uh, from Normandy. Thank you for your service to our great country. Tell me what happened when Joe Biden dropped a, a campaign ad from Normandy against President Trump. So he's made up these ridiculous accusations that Donald Trump doesn't respect veterans, doesn't respect the greatest generation. I was with Donald Trump on D-Day in both public and private. He talked constantly about how much he admired those who served, especially in that generation, but all generations. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here. And what's the first word that pops in your head when you hear the name J.D. Vance? Is it bootlicker, sellout, spineless worm, or even Donald Trump's potential vice presidential pick? If you thought of any of those things, sadly, you'd be right. Tonight, the battle to be former President Trump's running mate heating up and the field narrowing. Two sources say Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, and Florida Senator Marco Rubio are on the list. Vance has proven to be one of Trump's staunchest defenders, an attack dog in the media with strong base bona fides. Over the weekend, Vance reached a new low in his ongoing defense of Donald Trump. Joe Biden is trying to cover himself in glory of the greatest generation, despite trying to destroy everything that they fought for. J.D. Vance is drawing on his past military experience to downplay Donald Trump's complete disrespect of the military, calling soldiers who paid the ultimate sacrifice suckers and losers. Think about it as long as you need. J.D. Vance wants to come across as a patriot who supports veterans, but his actions tell a different story. Kelly confirms. Trump didn't want wounded veterans in a military parade planned for Independence Day because it, quote, doesn't look good for me, meaning Donald Trump saying that. Kelly also says Trump, quote, rants that our most precious heroes who gave their lives in America's defense are losers and wouldn't visit their graves in France. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. He did trash war heroes. He trashed the military dead. He didn't understand why they would sacrifice what was in it for them. A fundamental misunderstanding of the military, a fundamental misunderstanding of patriotism. So when J.D. Vance was asked by Fox host Maria Bartiroma about why he was upset with President Biden releasing a campaign ad that took aim at Donald Trump during the D-Day commemoration, Vance alleged that President Biden was trying to cover himself in the glory of the greatest generation and that he's made up ridiculous accusations against Donald Trump. Here's the crazy thing, Maria. Ask the greatest generation what they feel about wide open borders. Ask the greatest generation what they feel about sex changes for minors. The fact that Joe Biden is covering himself in glory of the very people who fought for something that he's trying to destroy is disgraceful. And I hope Americans reject it this November. Let me get this straight. J.D. Vance is accusing President Biden of making ridiculous accusations. J.D., you have it backwards. You are the one making ridiculous accusations here. And know what's going on with that sex change comment. Talk about a buffoon. J.D., you are a spineless worm with the gift of gab. Think about it. You like to talk a big game, but you're not standing up for veterans when you kiss the ass of Donald Trump in the hopes of being his running mate. The screenshot below is J.D. Vance's unfiltered explanation from 2016 of the breakdown in Republican politics that he now personally is trying to exploit. The America's Hitler bit is at the end. The public deserves to know the magnitude of this guy's bad faith. He continues to say, or a demagogue would, we are now at that point. Trump is the fruit of the party's collective neglect. I go back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical uh, person like uh, a-hole, like Nixon, who wouldn't be that bad and might even prove useful or that he's America's Hitler. How's that for uh, discouraging? It's kind of weird how J.D. Vance is praising service members who stormed the beaches of Normandy to defeat Adolf Hitler, and yet in the same breath, he's praising a wannabe dictator. Don't forget about J.D. Vance calling Trump America's Hitler either, and never forget that Donald Trump was a draft dodger claiming bone spurs. For every one of those times that Donald Trump got a deferment, someone else went in his place. Remember that. Donald Trump is perfectly happy sacrificing your kids for his agenda. Think about that person who had to go in his place. The unimaginable horror of war is all of a the sudden their new reality. 
Imagine leaving home and your life behind and not knowing if you're ever going to see tomorrow. What a horrible existence and how unfair that sentence was when you think about who put them there. Cowards like Ted Nugent and Donald Trump. Most likely the person that would have gone in their place would have been a teenager, fresh out of high school, someone who wasn't fortunate enough to be a senator's son or have a rich daddy to pull some strings for them. Did those folks who went in Donald Trump's place live to tell about it? We may never know, but one thing is certain, Donald Trump couldn't care less about those young people, just like he didn't find the courage in himself to pick up a rifle and man a post in the defense of our nation. Donald Trump is absolutely deplorable, and J.D. Vance is a pathetic, spineless worm for chasing him around so he can try to kiss his orange ass. J.D. Vance is a mouthpiece for Donald Trump and everything he stands for, which is the overthrow of our democracy and subversion of our Constitution. J.D. Vance and Donald Trump couldn't care less about our veterans. We don't need sellouts in the highest office in the land. Don't forget that Vance was involved in several arguments against additional U.S. aid to Ukraine. His stance even prompted opponents from both parties to accuse him of carrying water for Vladimir Putin and other authoritarian leaders. This media strategy reveals the true nature of what Trump and Vance are all about, exploiting hot button issues and spreading misinformation to con their supporters into opening their wallets. Vance's grandstanding from opp opposing Ukraine's aid to making provocative social media posts is all part of the performance to solidify his standing with the MAGA movement and align himself closely with Donald Trump. This isn't about genuine policy differences. It's about playing to the gallery, keeping the base fired up, and ensuring the donations keep rolling in. What a couple of despicable con men, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.